mayors in Pueblo will have to decide on a bond issue this fall that would actually repair schools and build new ones, as well as close and consolidate others. The news wise Andy Cohen has discovered there's another construction project the district is looking to spend money on, the city's downtown aquatic center. He's in our Pueblo studio with why D60 wants to take on that cost, Andy. Well, they say that it fills a need right now. The district is trying to decide between a two high school and four high school option to present to voters in the fall, but none of the plans include swimming pools at the new high schools. One feature missing from all of the plans presented for new high schools in Pueblo is the swimming pool. Each high school currently has one. Central's needs repair. Pools are very expensive to construct and then also very expensive to maintain. The idea of a partnership with the city to help build and use the aquatic center came up during public forums about which bond issue proposal to put in front of voters. If we were to become uh, a city with an aquatic center that could benefit our high schools, uh, much like Dutch Clark does and much like Runyon Field does, why not make that happen? And the Aquatic Center is supposed to be a public-private partnership in the city's regional tourism development. The idea was to build a pool that can host competitions for traveling youth swim teams, but the timeline for construction is still a decade away. CDOT agreed to give Pueblo some money for a new pool because its long-term plans to expand I-25 near Mineral Palace would encroach on the existing pool, but that's not happening anytime soon. There are no formal agreements between the city and school district for this aquatic center partnership. At this stage, it's just an idea. So right now we're really in the process of informing the community of some options that are out there. Now we don't know how expensive the aquatic center will be. The price tag for both of these school options went up by about $20 million a piece. The district told me they are planning to spend some of that money on new centralized production kitchen for all of the schools and to help some charter schools with their building needs. Watching out for you, Andy Cohen, News 5.